there guys, UltraGamer64 here, and today I've got another episode of UltraGamer Talks About. This is the series where you guys can request anything you want me to talk about, and I will give my experience, my personal um, beliefs on it, what I think you guys should do on the subject, pretty much anything to help you guys out. Now, this week I've not gotten any requests, so this week I'm going to talk about fear, and how to basically try and get over your fears, and um, just trying to inform you about different types of fear and all that kind of stuff. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, I'm going to start off by telling you guys a quick story. Um, when I was about six, seven, eight years old, I watched Friday the 13th, the very first movie. And I was fine up until the moment where Jason lunges out of the water, grabs that girl out of the canoe, and pulls her into the lake. Um, that caused me to have a mortal, a mortal fear of horror movies. Now, um, that fear lasted up until I was about 13 or 14. So, about two years ago, maybe one year ago even, I just started getting used to horror movies and now I love them. But, what I think really, what I think fear is, really, is something that comes about when you're at a younger age that maybe doesn't make sense to you or doesn't seem right to you um, or is just plain out scary like fear is. Um, when you're a little kid, you can't really comprehend as much as you could when you are 15 like me, when you're 20, 30, 40, and so on. When you're a little kid, you can't really comprehend certain things as well as other people. So, maybe something as simple as, let's say, your basement. Something as simple as that, since it's always dark, maybe you have a basement that you don't use very often. Maybe since it's dark, um, a little cold, all that kind of stuff, you think, I probably shouldn't go there, and I should have a fear of it. So, as you get older, and you grow into that fear, it basically becomes a fear that you have, and you don't want to go into your basement. Um, I used to, the things that I, well, I'm scared of, or I have a problem with at the moment, are, this is going to sound stupid, but ants, horse flies, um, losing people I love, and, um, other than that, that's pretty much it. But, um, I, I have three main fears. There's other ones, but they're kind of small. And if I listed my fears, it would take a tiny bit. So, the my three main fears are ants, horse flies, and losing people that I love. Yes, I know, ants and horse flies. I know, I'm pathetic, all that. I can see the comments coming now. But, ants and horse flies are scary, alright? So, basically... Anything could be a fear for you. Um, there are tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of different phobias. Um, there's phobias of um, holes being in your skin. There's phobias of someone's belly button. There's phobias of water. There's phobias of fire. There's phobias of everything. So, basically anyone can have a fear of anything. Now, like I said before, I believe that fear, in a way is something that maybe happens to us when we are a child that we can't quite rationalize, so we begin to fear it, and it becomes a fear. Now, on the other hand, there are ways of growing out of fear and not fearing that thing anymore. Like I said, I used to hate horror movies. I used to fear them. I used to be scared of them. I wouldn't even go in the same room as a horror movie that was playing. Um, and then one day... I watched the movie Scream, and I loved it. It was awesome, and now it's my favorite horror movie, if any of you didn't know. But um, it was just a great movie, and that year, I watched a ton of horror movies. And I got my fill-in from the past years that I had been scared of horror movies. And now I have a ton of horror movies. 
I love horror movies to death. I think they're awesome. Just everything about horror movies I love. But to grow out of a fear, it takes a little bit more work. You have to try and like fight through that fear and try to show it that you're not scared. You have to just kind of let yourself grow out of it in a way. It's kind of a combination of those two things. You've just got to make sure that you can get through it. Which I know all of you guys can get through your fears if you do have one. But, um, basically, just fight through your fear, no matter what it is. Just try to confront it, fight through it. Um, have family and friends around you to help you with those fears. Just anything you can do to get rid of it. Um, and like I said, fear, I believe, is something that manifests itself as a kid. So when you're older, um, 15, 20, 30, 40, break that fear. Trust me, it, it's a great feeling to break a fear. Um, I really haven't broken any fears except for the horror movie thing. But, um... Yeah, that's basically my personal experiences with fear. Um, if you guys want to tell me what your experience with experiences with fear are, I will definitely respond to you down in the comments. Now, this is kind of the end of the video, but it's not. I'm sure most of you are wondering why I'm scared of horse flies. So, I will be willing to share that story with you guys. So, I was around the same age when I watched Friday the 13th. And basically what had happened, because I have a really big backyard. It's like, we have the main yard, and then we have a long strip of land going back to railroad tracks and a ditch. So I was back there, and as at my young age, I was unaware that more bugs lived back there because there were trees. And it so happened that there were a few horse flies that lived around that area. And one of them decided to come down, latch onto my head, try sucking my blood, whatever they do. And I tried running, it kind of latched off, and it chased me up to my house. I could feel it every once in a while, land on my head, and I just kept running and running and running and running. Until I eventually reached my house. I darted in the house. Um, I'm pretty sure it stayed outside though. But that just scarred me to death. I hate horse flies to this day. I can't stand them. And of course living out in Ohio. Near a bunch of cornfields and everything. You're going to get horse flies. But I'm working on breaking that fear. I mean horse flies are creepy flies anyway. I mean why do they have to be so big? But, my fear is kind of irrational, it's kind of stupid. But, most of your guys' fears are completely rational. I, I understand that. So, I hope that I've helped you guys out in some way. If you like this video, then please be sure to leave a like, a comment, and maybe even subscribe. You can also follow me at the links below on Twitter and Instagram, and I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.